All right, hello everyone. This is John again coming at you with another unboxing video of the Hyakurin 1 to 144 higher grade Hyakurin. Specifically, is it going to be Ozzy's uh, one? Right now, I was just rolling. Excuse the blank part. Uh, here comes one to the side. Here's going to be front cover. Yep, and what I realized about the box, I'll tell you in a little bit once it's done rotating again. And price 1085 uh, from Hobby Town USA. Once again, awesome prices. Okay. Almost there, and okay, here we go. So, I'll go ahead and start unboxing this. Okay, so awesome artwork, right? Well, I just realized that I always thought her face looked funky in this box art. Same thing for laughter, and I realized they actually Bandai actually zoomed in on the face from the instruction booklet. I'll go ahead and show you that. Oh, there's actually a picture on the side. So yeah, eh, that's kind of cheap, but I mean, I guess they did that in order to um, to uh, bring the price down on the models. But anyways, it's not that big of a deal, but I just barely realized that. But overall, once again, awesome front box art. Uh, I gotta see who this illustrator is because the Hyaku Rin, oh my god, just looks really freaking great. Okay, so let's get started with this. You got Iron Blood Orphans logo, both of them right here. High grade Iron Blood Orphans. Uh, Hyaku Rin, I believe this is in Kanji. Uh, quoting Zaku really is, I think this is Kanji, I'm not too sure. Okay, so Bandai 2015, the usual stuff, Bandai logo right here. You got uh, Amida's Hyakurin in the background, which is pretty awesome, pretty awesome, yeah. And I like also how they show all uh, the Hyakurin's accessories. You get this cool sword thing, I'm not really too sure what it's called, and this cool rifle. Okay, alright, so we're gonna go at the bomb. Let's look at this right here. So we got some professional uh, photos right here, uh, uh, featuring the rifle. Nice detail, a nice pose, really nice pose. It kind of reminds me of a samurai. I wonder what Hyakurin means. I gotta research that. And also, you of course, speaking of samurai, you also get his sword, whoever you want to call it, knife, butcher knife, whatever. Not really too sure. It just looks like a machete. Yeah, awesome pose. These little things, guy. I really wish I could read kanji because I really wonder what these are for. I'm really curious. And also, you get the boxing gloves, the awesome boxing gloves, which are pretty cool, pretty cool detail. And also, uh, advertising the option part 2, option set 2, which I have. I still got to build the missile, and you can't really see with the plastic, but the grenade launcher right there. Let's see. Yep. Okay. So, going on to this side. Once again, same logos as before, with the sticker of the plastic covering it, 885, which is basically what this price of the model is. It's going to be 1,000 yen. I've looked at it before, obviously. And yeah, more professional straight poses. Mm-hmm. Gonna mm -hmm. have a bunch of similar parts to the Hyakuri when it comes to front cover. Yeah, but this is exactly what I was talking about. See her face right here? It's literally zoomed in. That's why it kind of looks funky. Eh, oh well. Like I said. And of course it's probably should show giving you information on the Ozzy. And some information on the story. Once again, gteketsu.com. Some warning signs. Illustrated by Koma. Uh, Koma, I'm sure he's done some stuff before. The Hakuri, maybe? Yeah. Background image by Saito Yoshibon uh, Yoshinobu. Once again, awesome Yoshinobu. So, um, our information, I really don't know. I wonder what this ST logo is. I gotta research that. And yeah, 1000 yen. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, and you got the Bluefin logo. Pretty much the same thing. Mm hmm. They've got no info. So, let's go ahead and unbox this. Alright, let's get the exact knife. Yeah, once again, really excited with this model. I just built the Gushion, and golly, that was, if y'all been following my Facebook page and Twitter, Instagram, that has been panel line galore, oh my god. Like, I'm not complaining, the panel lines look really well. It's just that my fingers were literally stained brown. I used a Gundam marker, panel line marker. Uh, it's kind of repeating myself, but yeah, I used this marker right here. Really nice, but literally, the tape, the tip it's like torn I'm not really too sure if you can see that yeah but anyways it was a lot of work and i'm gonna about i'm gonna do a, a video on that one right after this one so yeah let's go ahead and open this and y'all can check that one out later okay just put that right here excuse my arm all right so let's see what we got obviously this is gonna be i think less parts than the gushion but let's take a look Okay, so we got tray A starting off with tray A. And you got some, these are probably going to be the side skirt parts, which are interesting. I know Astrops is technically supposed to use these. 
for his like gigantic arm not too sure i'll get back to you on that but yeah we just got some navy blue parts really nice very different color that we i personally haven't used before nice 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 i also got this uh purplish yeah purplish light purple with some stickers not that much not that much really nice just for the triangle yellow triangle accents which i probably will use since i'm being lazy once again. you got some head right here the head i've always been a fan of the heads super different looks super awesome looks like super buff mobile suit I, you know me I, i'm into buff mobile suits okay so let's get that one out of the way and then yeah i guess so we got trey e right here nice yeah they look they look white not like the hakarin the hakari where it has like the pale whitish uh, i guess that's why i guess we could compare them right now let's check it out real quick so hmm yeah guess they're the same color anyways yeah i'll leave y'all to decide on that so we got some poly caps here of course d some gray parts mm -hmm. then this is gonna be most of the accessories most of the inner frame i guess you got the hands you got the no those aren't the boxing gloves the boxing gloves are on the other side yeah boxing gloves are on the other side awesome awesome yep but you got the awesome rifle right here you also got the awesome blade really really awesome like i'm really bleh, really looking forward to painting not painting building those god i can't talk right today i'm honestly tired guys <laughs> It's been long nights with just social media, anime, all this stuff. I'm off school, so I'm taking advantage of it. Anyways, let's look at the instruction book a little real quick. Once again, nice box art. God, I really got to draw that. I'm probably going to draw that. Huh, interesting animation illustration. Kind of looks way different from the box art. If you could look at that. Yeah, just the head looks a bit different. I guess it's because the lights are on. <laughs> it's, yeah, interesting. Anyways. Once again, some information in the Hakurin. You got some specifications right here. And uh, Ozzy right here. Some more stuff. Bandai, Gundam Info. Yep. Okay. So I guess we'll start looking back. Once again, same images from the box. Yep, here's a fuller image of the boxing glove pose, which is really cool. Really awesome, yeah. And uh, showing you some accessories. You got, of course, you got the rifle blade and boxing gloves. It's telling you the information right here. If you need kanji, color guide, right there. Yep. And some more pictures. And we're moving on to instructions. Okay, so we got tray A, tray B, tray C, tray D, tray E, and polycaps. It seems like we are pretty much can use everything except two polycaps. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's see what we're going to start off with the body. Okay, so yeah, just simple putting out those polycaps, putting on the bottom one for the waist putting on some armor you're putting on a yellow sticker right there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. putting on some piping putting on thrusters all that good stuff same little rib back part like the hyakuri yeah so that's uh, turbines um feature right there and construction right here just three parts with the eye stickers simple as that like so starting off with the right arm right here just making that big shoulder making those forearms hand Looks simple. It looks similar to the right here D334 A14. Looks similar to the Hyakuri form design, which I really wasn't a fan of. And I still got a review down for you. Her painting's almost done, so that's what not a review. It's oh, well, she's she's done top coating in Texas right now. It's been bad rain, humidity, so I do apologize for that. But those videos are coming soon. Okay, anyways, basically the same process with the left arm. Mm-hmm. And then you're putting on those big things those little um i don't know what to call them those little sphere things cylinder things and then you put the head upper body and forearms all together or arms then you got the feet little awesome uh samurai feet this reminds me of a samurai that's why i really like it will really look good with like a traditional samurai katana that's a little custom idea for you yeah so we're getting started with the leg construction legs mm -hmm. with those big buff thighs Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. Putting it all together. Big thigh, uh, shin, foot. Really nice. Basically repeating that process. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Looking really special. Just putting a peg right there. Forearm, just forearm. Shin, just two. Mm hmm. Kneecap. Putting it all together. Yep. Then we got some color pages right here. Nice color pages. Mm hmm. Making the side skirts. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Nothing really too special right here. 
Uh, could you articulate the rest of it here? If that's the case, that'd be really cool. Awesome. Yeah, and you're storing the box of gloves right here, which do have handles. Interesting. Yeah, I just kind of showed that with the box um, art. Yep. And basically repeating that same process. Putting it all together with the legs and the side skirts and, of course, the crutch piece. Putting it all together with uh, able to put an action stand on there. Yep, yep, yep. And then you also got the nice weapons right here. Weapon construction, just two pieces on the rifle. Putting it all together like so. And then once again, two pieces for the blade. Putting it on again like so with the hand. Nice storage spot for the blade. Really nice. I really do like that connection piece. I think it looks pretty awesome. And you're putting on the boxing gloves, removing them. Putting it with the handles to the hands. And that's pretty much it. Doesn't really show you a final pose on that. But yeah, guys, really looking forward to this model. I've, I've always been a fan of any of the turbine mobile suits. Uh, especially if you've been building too many grades and Gundam kits from IBO uh, high grade line. So yeah, I'm sure this is once again going to be a refreshing piece. Really looking forward to building this one. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. For $10, that's really freaking good for what you get with this awesome looking samurai buff mobile suit yeah that's gonna be pretty much it guys uh right now i'm gonna go to get to filming the review for the gushion and don't forget to follow my facebook twitter instagram the links are gonna be down below in the description also don't forget to click my face in order to subscribe you'll see it somewhere and um uh, am i forgetting anything da, 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 da. whoa there's actually gonna be a gundam build day tomorrow sunday so I'm pretty much gonna get more kits. I may film, I'm always saying I may film, but I don't know, I just live in the moment when it comes to those days, they're really, really fun. Yeah, let's see, I might forget anything else. Nope, that's pretty much it. Well guys, thank you all for watching, and as always, I'll see you on the next video. Next one is going to be the review for the Gundam Gushion, so be looking forward to that. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.